Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can install the scripts, uh, custom scripts for automatic strapo. Uh, so you go to the wiki page and you go to the custom scripts link. So there are quite a few of the scripts uh, here. You can click and download these from uh, their pages. And uh, if you click to the C travel, I, I will use this as an example today. Uh, if you click to the C travel uh, script and uh, there is some uh, installation tutorial in here and uh, it depends on the script it may require some uh, python library ex uh, extra pi python library i can say uh, and uh, this one needs uh, one more library so if you go to your folder uh, let me first show uh, how you can download the script uh, click the code click download zip and uh, you put the file this file ctravelpy file into your scripts folder and uh, I have done almost the same for the other scripts, uh, for example, for the advanced uh, prompt matrix script and some other uh, ones here. So this one, C travel requires some uh, other Python library. So uh, how you can uh, deal with the problem? Uh, it suggests uh, to add the moviepy 1.0.3 uh, but you can also uh, install uh, this one uh, with another method manually so if you go to your um, Go to your environment files and uh, from this lib folder, site packages and uh, if you click the address bar here, type cmd, enter. So you can uh, open the cmd in this folder, um, write pip install uh, whatever it is let's copy pip install this version uh, dash you can press the minus button on your uh, numlock uh, numpad sorry dash T space dot. This means you're installing this Python library to this folder, current working directory. Okay, then you press enter. I have already uh, installed it, but let's uh, see what happens if I press enter. So yeah, maybe some uh, libraries are missing or they are just existing. You can uh, force the upgrade with the, this command. So if you want to force the upgrade. But this can break uh, some things. So I'm not going to use it. So after that, 
you, you just launch the stable diffusion from the automatic repo which I already have so when you get your user interface you click the scripts go to C travel you can uh, I haven't pl uh, honestly I haven't uh, played uh, with the script uh, uh, so much so I cannot give you some uh, best tutorial about it but uh, you can put some seed numbers here and steps uh, and after that of course you can change the resolution you can use the high resolution fix if you want and when you press uh, the when you press the generate it will go and do some stuff and generate some images which I will not do because I'm recording uh, and uh, it will not be the best or we, we have to wait for it to finish so I will select none and I will show you an example that I have generated already so I will go to the output it will generate a, a directory as travels so this was the this was the file that was generated but it, it was very uh, the frame rate was too much so uh, it was doing the thing really fast I have uh, slowed down the um, uh, frame rate and I have used uh, Rife with the flow frames for the frame interpolation so if you go to uh, flow frames and drop this you go to the interpolation you can make it 60 fps and you can uh, make a slow motion from here which I have already done So this is a slower version. As you can see, it's doing the interpolation. This one is uh, a bit slower, but not, not, not doing the interpolation thing. Maybe this is what you want. And uh, this one is a GIF which I have converted from this so it has an endless loop as you can see so that's it it's a short tutorial but uh, you know you can uh, install the scripts, custom scripts uh, to your repo from the links uh, which has been given in here. So there, there is also a written information how you can do that, but uh, I just wanted to record a video about it. So that's it. See you next time.